Hi, this is Lori the Armchair Chef. We're going to start our yarn haul from Black Friday. So let's do the Hobie. Hobby Hobie. Okay. Yeah, somebody was talking about what they got. So of course I had to go get some too. I don't remember why. I don't remember what it was. Mystery bag. But this was, this came FedEx. This bag did not get damaged. It did not get... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It did get damaged. I don't know if the yarn got cut. Well, we'll find out when I get in there. Um, I'm sure I went to the clearance yarn and picked up some colors. I remember getting that, that ribbon yarn somewhere. Oh, I can't wait to figure out what to do with it. So let me get this open. Got to watch it with this bag cutter. Oh, I know what I bought. I have, I'm almost 60. I guess I shouldn't say I'm almost 60 because I'm not 60, but I'm 58. And when I was young, like 10, my grandmother died. I think when I was 10, one of my grandmothers died and she had made me a Afghan and I still have it. It's been washed and dried a gazillion times to where it's like, you can't even see the stitches. They've all blended together. And I just recently decided that I want to recreate it, kind of make another one like it. And um, nobody else, It's not. it doesn't mean anything to anybody else, just me, because she, she made it for me. And so nobody else is ever going to want it or anything. So um, I just thought it would be something to do. I could make it, but it's blue and white. And it was made 50 years ago, about. And I'm wondering why would she make me a blue and white one was it possible it was for somebody else and she ended up giving it to me because you know back in the day girl babies got pink boy babies got blue that's how they, that's how what they did um so I'm wondering if it was for somebody else and she ended up giving it to me it didn't matter I loved it um I, it's I've kept it 40 years it's gone with me everywhere it hasn't gotten damaged not one threads come apart on it. I recently gave it to somebody to show them, ask them what stitch it was. If we could find out, I posted it online too. And the conclusion is it's probably corner to corner. Did they have corner to corner back then? I don't really, I like corner to corner granny, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do probably a, I'm probably just going to do a back and forth. Um, and I needed, sorry, I needed blue and white yarn because it was like a blue and white variegated. So I got a bunch of blue and white yarn at the um, Hobie sale. This is the closest I could come. It had more white in it, but this will be okay. It's it's blue and white. And then if I just do like a, um, like a back and forth granny, it'll, it'll look, it'll look enough like it. I did like, I did, did a granny corner to corner. That I really loved. That's what it's about. Oh my god! I did it, granny, corner to corner. That I almost, I really loved while I was on my vacation. So I might do that stitch. Um, and I just got this chunky. It doesn't look too chunky, but it looks like a four, maybe a five. So that I got for that blanket. And then I just went and got a bunch of other colorful stuff that was on sale. I love this one. Oh, do you want to know what it is? It was Amigo Aqua Rail Chunky Acrylic. Um, use a seven millimeter crochet hook and there is 109 yards so I have a thousand yards I should be able to get myself a decent little afghan and then this one I got these I love these bright colors I think I only got two of this one this is fantasy 100% acrylic oh that's beautiful and I kind of was just getting a couple of each thing because I could do a hat with a couple um and in Utah we do a lot of hats scarves 
gloves. I actually saw a pattern for a one piece slipper that I might try. This would be pretty for that. So this was fantasy, hundred percent acrylic. It's a, um, it's a five with a six millimeter hook. So it's large. I like them large ones. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. I have some, some more fantasy. I think I got a bunch of fantasy in different colors. There might be another one of those back there. Mm, did I get another? Yeah, I did. I got three. I must have got three of each. So I got three of that one. And this one, the fantasy is... Um, colors have numbers, so it's not going to matter. This is very pretty. It has a lot of blues and some greens and some yellows. It sort of is like this one, but opposite. I like these. These are real pretty. So that's the fantasy. I like that yarn. It's very soft. I never, never, I had no idea what it was going to feel like when I got it. So I have three more of those in another color, which is a gray. Gray is always safe for people who don't like bright colors. Um, but you do want a little color variation. So it's a little, this would also be good for the uh, loveys. Um, with the colors like this, I have a bunch of little stuffed animals to, to do loveys with. And yarns like this would be good because it could match a lot of the different colors. So, um, yeah, that, that gray is the same. Now, I got some other ones. I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure what I got, why I got them. They were probably cheap, so I bought them. Ooh, yeah, now I know why I bought them. They're shiny. Oh, this one got stuck to the bottom. Uh, it, got, it got sealed in the bag. Oh, that, that's not good. Let's see. I uh, got a little frayed there. I guess, what do they call that? Um, <laughs> what do they call that? It's like, you know, it's like uh, that. It, it got a little... Uh, that thing that you know you pull it i guess uh what's where's my oh oh yeah i got a it, i think this came free it's a hook gauge it's always nice to have if your numbers wear off i have some of those ergonomic hooks with the rubbers on them and the numbers are wearing off so this is nice to have metallico this is what it's called this is so pretty it's shiny i think it was really cheap it says it's a four, but look at how shiny this is. I've got three of each color. Look at how shiny that is. You can see it with the light. That is pretty. This is sort of almost a rose gold. That is gorgeous. Then the green, Even you could even use these together. That would really be pretty. That is so nice. How much is on each one of these? If I can find it. Yeah, these have numbers for the colors. Oh my gosh, can you get any smaller? Okay, it has acrylic and wool and polyamide. Oh, let's see. Uh, 125 yards. So I got three of them. That's 375 yards. So that's enough for hats, I'm guessing. So, okay, that's a, that was my Hobie, hobby, hobby haul. Okay, I did decide to get some stuff that I was getting in the store while it was on sale. So I bought a whole bunch of this arcade, Twist Arcade, in the store. But when it, there was a sale online, I guess it was Black Friday, I went and got it online and got the extra discount. And I got some more colors. I just got a bunch of the colors like four or five of each so this one i look i like this is really pretty it's got the gray and the brown and the peach and the white and um it's called natural white multi and it's going to be see i have if i have five of them 
I can make a sweater, but I don't make sweaters. I could make a um, afghan with four, but I like ponchos. And I think uh, Crystal has a lot of ponchos. I, I want to get. I want to do one. I think once I start, I won't be able to stop. I still haven't finished my pocket shawl that I started last year, this year, that I started this year, because I just have a few things to do. I got to put the pockets on it, and I really wanted to put a hood on it. But okay, I've got five of those, so that will make me a blanket. And what I did, I had bought a ball of this faux fur sparkle to go in the store. And then when I saw it was online on sale, I got one of each because this will go really good bordering stuff to give it like a little fur edging, which is probably what I'll use it for because I don't want to make a project with this, but doing a strand inside of it or um, around the edges would be really pretty. So I got, I think I got one of each color. This would be, it's a sparkle, so it has a little bit of, can you see that a little bit of glitter on it? I don't know if the uh, light reflects that, but there's a little bit. There's, um, this one's silver and it has, it's all polyester. It's only 56 yards. Um, meteoroid, that was meteoroid. This one's shiny. This is a brown. I have something already planned for this one. I have yarn to match this. It's considered a six. This one is Jupiter. So they're all named after planets. That's very cool. I like that, Jupiter. Oh, and this one's a purple. Oh, I got lots of purple. That'll make nice. It's Nebula. Nebula. This is disappointing. Check that out. A rewrap. Don't even know if it's all there. Blue bangle. I have no idea. This is not even the same yarn. Look at that. It's all, it's all torn apart with a handwritten label. Don't even know how much is on there. Okay, well, strike one. And the make me an afghan with just one cake. I got a couple of these to match. I got two of this color. Now when I go to Michael's, I get a discount for being old. I get a 10% discount for being old. But jo Joanne's doesn't do that. Joanne's barely, I the stuff I buy barely even gets coupons. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm back. Before I was so rudely interrupted because my phone battery died, um, I had to take a break from doing this. And uh, so, yeah, I changed. Got me on a different shirt for Christmas. Different antlers. Okay. We were talking about the cover story. It had gone on sale, so I picked up a bunch of them. I got two of each color. So when I ordered mine online, I got two more in this color. So that's all for that order. I still not sure what's up with this. I have to look at my order and see this has to be this. It's not the same as this. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there, but I was just looking at some more tutorials online and Crystal just put up one about with a scarf that has a really cool kind of, um, you know, the, 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 the treble crochet where she goes through and around and skips and goes back. That would be very cool with this yarn. I don't know how long the color changes are. I guess the longer, the better, uh, Joanne's box. This was the first Joanne's box I got a long time ago and I saved it. <gasps> oh, I just knocked my stuff over. They're glass. Uh, and I saved this just for you because I wanted to open this my first uh first black friday stuff so let me let me get this one out believe it or not there's still a lot of good sales on and i've been out there looking at things and i did not get my frills hooks yet i guess they must be behind uh-oh what's this oh, oh okay 
<laughs> I got scared because one of my bags is inside the bag, the box. I'm like, how'd that happen? I already opened it. That's why. <laughs> I started panicking. <gasps> I started panicking. Because <laughs> I'll take it my address in my envelope. Okay, I had already opened this. That's why I wanted to, sh there was something I wanted to show you in here. Postal related. It's post office related. Okay, you know when you're when you're packing your things to go places, you really want to pack really good because I, I think I mentioned this before um, when I was showing you one of the other boxes. Everything gets thrown. Nothing's like here, hand it to you. Here, hand it to you. No, it's put in the container, and then it's dumped here. Then they dump it there, and then it's dumped again. It's dumped like almost three times, depending on. Uh, which machine it's going to go on because this stuff is not hand sorted it's machine sorted and these machines can be you know 100 feet long we have one that's the length of a football field it's they're big these machines are huge and that accounts for the the magazine type things which we call flats uh envelopes those are run on a machine too now so we don't really want you to put chunky things in the envelopes because they go through and then that stuff gets damaged. If you're going to put something chunky in an envelope that should be flat and smooth, then put it in a, a one of those puffy bubble wrap envelopes and it'll go as a package. Don't try to send it as an envelope if you're going to put uh, keys in it or um, deck of cards. Anything that's hard and doesn't bend. Um, and when we get the envelopes that say do not bend because there's pictures in it or something. It goes in the machine. We really don't have any control. And, um, yeah, there, eventually if it doesn't get read or it doesn't get handled properly, it does get done by hand, but then it's going to take you so much longer. It's better if you do it right the first time. Your stuff will get there way faster. Um, so I want to tell you that because of how this was packaged. These, my dear, are my candles. Look at this. These were in a big box. You saw that big box. It wasn't stuffed. But these candles are glass. And this is heavy. This has got to be about four pounds. Um, which is heavy for being in a box like that. And the only other thing was some yarn in there. And this, no doubt... Undoubtedly, this box is not machinable for our small machines. It had to have been thrown a few times. And these candles did not break. I want to show you how these were packaged. So when you send your things, I was very impressed, actually. You're at the mercy of the people that are packaging your things to make sure you get them. Like the Hobie plastic thing was ripped. Well... They just send the stuff in the plastic bag and if it gets caught on something it's gonna rip it's just plastic or poly it's poly something and so if it gets knocked on the floor and a piece of equipment forklift or something drives over it it's gonna get mushed so that's why there are some things you can do but yeah this has been wrapped in bubble wrap twice and um this is these are candles that I got, those Woodwick candles that I uh, have been raving about. When I had my first sale online, it was the, they were on sale for, um, what, 30 or 40, they were $16.99 and then I got another percentage off. I think it was an extra 20% off on everything. And so I got them for like $13. That's when I posted the little video online on my on my site, on my channel. So I got these. See, look at how hard it is to get into this. That's what you want. You want it to be hard to get into your things. So yeah, there's two layers of bubble wrap. So this was bouncing around. They didn't break. This makes me happy. It really makes me happy because I got my merchandise without it being broken. And if you do this, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to use this on the candles that are in my giveaway. And I'm going to use this on the stuff I'm sending out for Christmas to my friends in California. So, yeah, keep your bubble wrap that you get in your packages. Keep your, um, those, those poly envelopes. You can turn them inside out and reuse them. 
So you could keep those and put your yarn and turn it inside out, put your stuff in there, tape it all up so there's no gaps for it to get caught on something. Reuse those envelopes, but don't make it round. You don't want anything round because these go on a conveyor belt and if it's on a conveyor belt, it's going to roll. So it's going to have to have special handling. So if you can make it flat, if you don't want to bend, put it in a, put a piece of cardboard in with it. It's less likely to get bent. That's what I'm saying. So look at this. I'm just, I'm over the moon because they packaged it so well. Nothing broke. It smells so good. Okay. This is the, um, this one I really like. So I got a couple of these. The Ambered Citrus, it's really pretty. It's more peachy, but it does have, um, it does have the white wax and those wood wicks. So you can burn it on the side where the label's not. And so I saw a tip somewhere once um, online. Somebody said that if you're having problems with your candles burning all the way to the edges, stick a piece, piece of foil around it and that'll end up heating the glass up so that the edges will burn. And so it'll all burn down instead of you getting a hole in the middle that has a memory because it'll always melt that first next time. And you'll still have wax around the edges. So I did that on one of my other candles and it worked. So if they start getting down low, I just stick the foil around it and all the wax will melt down back to the bottom and start over again. I have already burned one of these out to where it won't light again. So now I'm, uh, I've, I've moved to one of my Bath and Body Works candles, my three wicks that I've had for a while been burning. So that one's been going for a week now. Okay. And Sorry for all the noise. But you know how bubble wrap is just so enticing. Stress relieving. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's so stress relieving. I can't even get it open. Okay, let's see. Cut this out. Okay. Watch this be the same one I just had. Oh my goodness. I, it, it, it's not annoying at all. I'm very happy they did this because otherwise they would have broke. Um, ooh, what's this one? This one's purple. Kind of a, looks like a lavender. The light's very small. Oh, the apple pony, or I think it's peony. I always call it pony. Okay, that's okay. Oh, where's my cardboard? I guess I don't have cardboard or it came off, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's not very strong. It's not as strong as the other one. So, okay, let's try this last one. They had a lot of woodsy kind of uh, manly scents that I would say they were more um, woodsy kind of scents. Um, and I, I'm not so much into those because of that, that my allergies. So I don't get those, but that was mostly what they had. They only had about three or three cents that really were, um, actually these three, that were more on the not plant side. This was the other one. This is the one I, I just finished burning. It's a, um, the vanilla Tonka. Mm, this one's strong. It smells really good. This smells up the whole place. This is really nice. So that is, those are the three candles. And in this box, the other stuff I bought, in one of my, in one of my mystery boxes, you'll see a, a fabric that I, or a yarn that I got that I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It says a little bit of everything. Well, Joanne's had that and it was on clearance. I had ended up with one. I bought three more. So now I have four of them. So don't don't give up if you're looking for something because you still may find it online and not have to pay three times the price on Etsy. So I do have more now. I can make a bigger project or put it in one of my giveaways for one of you because when I get to um, 
I'm going to have another one after the one I'm doing pretty soon. So this is uh, alpaca, cotton, and wool. And it's that pretty um, yellowish color. I'm not going to take it out. But this is the same one I got in my um, mystery box from Crystal. So thank you, Crystal. I found it on Joann's and I got three more. So now I can make something bigger. I do love it. I love wool. I like working with it, but it makes me itchy. So, okay, that was, well, I had something else. Oh yeah, okay. That was the last box from Black Friday, but I did go shopping. And you know, at Michael's right now, the, um, the, anniversary, the new anniversary cakes just came out. So I made a lap gam for my dad with one of the anniversary cakes. And it used almost the whole thing. And it made a regular lapkin size that would go, say, if you're sitting in a chair, it would go from like sitting on your waist down to the floor and not too wide so as to be too bulky because I wouldn't want him tripping on it if he was trying to get up. He could like set it aside and it wouldn't be wrapped around his feet. So I kind of made it that size. So those are the dimensions I'm probably going to use, maybe a little bit wider. And then I'll be able to use one whole ball. So I got more and I got one of each. So they were on sale for $19.99, but because I'm past that age of uh, youth and I get the senior discount now, I got them for $17.99. I got an extra $2 off. When I found that out, I did the uh, pickup. I went in the store and I bought more. When I found out it was even cheaper. So I actually bought Two, four, six, I saved 12 more dollars. So, okay, yeah, let me see. Um, this is the uh, the grape. Oh, it's called Raisin in the other country. But this is the grape. It's all the different um, shades of the grape, of the purple. These are exactly the colors that my one grandma made that afghan out of. So this is probably what I'm going to use to make that. I'll probably just start in the middle and just make one big granny square. And that'll be my... Um, my grandma's afghan that I've recreated because this is really what it looks like. These are all the purple colors that she did. So that's one of them. I think somebody would, I saw somebody online talking about something chocolate. Nope. This is the sour cherry. This is really pretty. The, all the, all the different shades of red. I really don't want to take them out because, um, they'll be not used right away. So I'd really like to keep them in the bag, but you guys know pretty much almost know what these look like. The sour cherry got all different colors of pink and some dark reds in it and it looks like they might have tagged the ends on these look at that little round thing would that be awesome if they stuck the end on there so we could just pull it out I would have paid $19 for it if I knew they did that okay this is called lollipop in one of the other countries it's suket like a sucrets maybe that's interesting wonder what language they're using lollipop so this sort of uh this has the blues and greens and reds and orange and yellow this is really a nice fall color um really pretty And when I went in, they didn't have one of the colors. And I don't remember which one they didn't have. I just told them, pick another one that isn't the same. So I don't know. But then when I found out they had some other ones that I didn't have online to choose from, I got two more that I didn't have. So now I have six. One of each. I don't know how many they have. Um total this one is nebulas i saw somebody do this one this is like um blues and purples and grays and there's a, a, a dark red in there really pretty have any of you done anything with that cover story it's the blank it's kind of the blanket yarn it's it, it feels just like the blanket yarn is what it feels like um and the color changes are very small so 
I'm thinking it's just going to look like lots of little blobs of colors because I'm, I'm kind of trying to learn that. Tropical butterfly. That's kind of actually fall colors too. Red, orange, gold, green, silver. That's really neat. Um, again, with the little dot in there, I think that's a great thing they did. Because you know how hard, what kind of barf you would have if you dug your hand into one of these and pulled it out? That'd be a lot of barf. Okay. You know, I don't think I ended up with that chocolate one like that other girl did. She said it was... Shoot. Chocolate something. They didn't have that one. I thought maybe I'd have it. Now, I might have to go on a journey and find it. Because I want chocolate, too. I love chocolate. Oh, speaking of chocolate. I still have another food uh, thing I have to do as soon as I'm finished with this. Monstera. Monstera. Think of Monsters, Inc. and Sully. Huh? Huh? What do you think? Could that, that, that be Sully? That could be. Really pretty. The picture looks like blues, but I think it's more, looks more greens than blues. Teals and greens. That's really pretty. I always said I hated green, but I think I'm a closet green lover. Okay, that is, that's all my Black Friday, except there's one thing that Amazon said was delivered a week ago. I don't know if I have it. I, that's all I've got on this one. And thank you for watching. Um, a lot of this stuff is still on sale if you want to grab some. So happy Black Friday. I hope you got something good. This is Lori armchair chef from salt lake city we just got our first snow tonight i'm excited dog's not so excited they had to wear jackets tonight